Cauchy integral formula. If a function f of z is analytic inside and on a simple closed curve C, then for every z not in D and for every curve C in D, which encloses z not, that is, the z not inside the C. The integral f of z over z minus z not will be 2 pi i f of z not. And if you make f of z not desire a formula, we have this. So this integral is what we call Cauchy integral formula. We call it Cauchy integral formula. So let's prove it. Let's prove it. So we know that, uh, okay. Let's see. Let's see and close only c1. Let's see and close only c1. In that case, we can say that... Um, by the theorem we have proved before, we have said that this will be equal to integral c1 f of z over z minus z naught dz. Now, by complex number, we know that z minus z naught is um, our exponential i theta, which means z will be equal to z naught plus r exponential i theta. So if you make the z, if you differentiate, the z will be equal to, this will be zero, this will be i r exponential i theta, d theta. So theta lies between zero and 360 degrees. That is a, it's a disk, which is two pi. So in that case, Integral f of z dz over this will now be equal to 0 to 2 pi f of z. Our f of z is um, z naught, you know, our z is z naught, r exponential i theta over z minus z naught. z minus z naught is uh, r exponential i theta and um, dz. These are dz here. I R exponential I theta D theta. So this cancels this. All we have left is I into 0 to 2 pi F of um, Z naught plus R exponential I theta D theta. So as R tends to 0, as R tends to 0, we are going to have I f of z naught integral 0 to pi d theta which is not very easy for us to integrate when we integrate this along this boundary we are going to have 2 pi so which gives me 2 pi high so what we have said there is that this integral uh, there's f of z naught here f of z naught f of z naught. Let me write it like this. This is um, 2 pi high f of z naught. So that completes the, the proof, which is this. So we have seen that f of z is equal to this. If we decide to differentiate it further, if we try to differentiate this one further, this f of z so f prime of z naught will be equal to 1 over 2 pi high into integral c. We are differentiating with respect to z naught. So f of z is constant. So this is z minus z naught all squared. z minus z naught all squared dz. And if we differentiate it once again, f of z naught is um, 1 over 2 pi high. f of z naught. When we differentiate it, it will give us these two will come so that um, we are going to have um, the two will come here z minus z naught cube dz 
if we differentiate it once again, these two will come here to become, uh, sorry, these three become there to become 2 times 3 over 2 pi high f of z over z minus z naught raised to power 3 over z minus this uh, this will now become 4 we can continue like that if you continue like that you will see that fn of z naught will be equal to this one can be written this one here can be written as 2 times 3 6 which is same thing as 3 factorial over 2 pi high integral f of z over z minus z naught raised to power 4 4 is 3 plus 1 dz this one too can be written 2 can be written as 2 factorial over 2 pi high this is f of z over z minus z naught raised to power. This 3 is 2 plus 1 dz. So, if you generalize it, you will see that it will become n factorial over 2 pi high into f of z over z minus z naught raised to power n plus 1 dz. So this is the generalization of the Cauchy integral theorem. So this is the generalization of Cauchy integral theorem or derivative of um, we all we call it derivative of analytical function. So what we have gained here is that um, f of z naught two pi high f of z naught is the same thing as um, integral f of z over z naught dz so this is what cosh integral theorem is talking about and for this one this is 2 pi high over n factorial f n of z naught this n is derivative is derivative is equal to f of z over z minus z naught n plus 1 dz so we are fn of z naught will simply be the n the the n df of z oh the n df over the z raised to power n at z equal to z naught so that is it's all about uh, cauchy integral formulas we'll be using any of this in our Next proof. This is very important. It's also we got this one from this. We can express it like this, and we can also express it like this. Likewise, um, this one here, either of the two, they are the same thing. So let's take example. Let's evaluate this uh, integral. Want to evaluate this integral? We are see is this a uh, Saku is the Saku absolute value of z equal to 3. The first thing is we first need to know if this um, c, if this integral, uh, this function lies inside this integral or lies outside this integral. If it lies outside this integral, we should know that uh, by Cauchy's theorem, the integral becomes 0. Now, this is the uh, absolute value of 3. This is um, from that place, let us know our f of z. Our f of z is cos pi z, the one on top. This is z minus z naught. Definitely, our z naught is um, pi. And pi is um, 3.142. So, the absolute value of z3 here now. So, we'll consider z4. Now, this is um, pi is 3.142. Absolute value of z is equal to 4. So, for absolute value of 3, the z lies outside. Then the integral is 0. So, this is the circle we are talking about. This is the circle we are talking about. This is 4. But pi is 3.142. So, which lies inside. 
so in that case since it's, it lies inside we have to uh, apply Cauchy integral formula now this is our f of z so the formula says the integral f of z dz over z naught will be 2 pi i f of z naught this is our f of z so our answer is 2 pi i f of z naught our z naught is our pi so this is a um, cos pi into anywhere we see z we put it as pi cos pi into pi so that at the end of the day we are going to have 2 pi i cos pi squared but from our calculator we we'll see that cos pi square is 1 so finally our answer is um, 2 pi high so that means the integral this integral is um, 2 pi high and we, ask, we have also proved that before example 2 so let us evaluate this integral let's consider this integral cos 6z over z minus pi over 6 raised to power 3 dz so we are c c is this disk the disk z is equal to 1 this is pi over 6 so it's less than this one so it's inside the it's inside this circle this circle of uh, radius 1 or we we'll call it a unit disk it's a circle of radius 1 which we call a unit disk now, we need to write it in this format, in Cauchy integral in format. This three can be written as um, 2 plus 1. So in this case, let's put the z, in this case, n is 2. f of z is um, cos 6z. If you use the Cauchy integral for to use the Cauchy integral formula, we need f n z in the formula. F n z that is f two z. We differentiate it twice. Now let's find f prime differentiation first. If I differentiate this, so this should give me minus six cos five z sine z. That is the first differentiation. The second differentiation, f prime prime of z, because this is 2. We are dealing with 2, so we differentiate twice. So we need to differentiate this. That will be, if I use product rule, I'm going to have minus 6. If you differentiate sine is cos, so minus 6 cos 6z. And if you differentiate this, it will become plus 30. 30 cos um, this will become 4 and psi will increase to 2. Now, our z naught z naught is equal to pi over 6, this one. Therefore, f prime prime of z naught, anywhere we put, we see z naught, we put it as pi over 6. So this is um, minus 6 into cos 6 pi over 6 plus 30 cos 4 pi over 6 sine squared pi over 6 what is pi over 6 we have known that pi is 180 degrees this is 30 so what we are saying is minus 6 cos 6 30 degrees plus 30 Cos fourth thirty sine square thirty. So it's not very easy for us to do. When we find it and simplify, we should get twenty seven over sixteen. We use our calculator. So we we'll now recall from the formula now. The formula says integral f of z dz over z minus z naught raised to power m plus one is equal to 2 pi high over m factorial over m factorial fn of z naught. This is 2 pi high over our n is 2. 
here so we say over 2 factorial fn of z0 is here which is um, 27 over 16 so finally i don't need to waste my paper there finally if you simplify that further our answer is 27 pi high over 16 okay that's our final answer so this is the final answer to this integral in this uh, disk the example evaluate this integral where c is the disk so from this question you observe that one and minus one are the singular points in this uh, integration but inside this disk now inside this disk uh, disk of um, radius 2 three lies outside it in that case by Cauchy integral theorem the integration is zero but if you uh, if you talk about one one lies inside this disk so in that case we can apply the Cauchy integral formula but we can we are going to arrange it like this so that we don't make mistake s square plus one divided by z minus three everything over we don't need this one because this singular point lies outside this um, disk and in that case we can we can consider it by Cauchy theorem it will be zero this is one plus one so in this case my n is one z naught is one our f of z will now be representing z square over one z square plus one over z minus three so since n is one means we are differentiating once and if you differentiate using quotient rule we have two z into z minus three minus um, z square minus one over v square z minus three square putting z to be one because our z naught is one put z to be one this will give me two into minus two minus one minus one over this is um minus two squared and that would now this is minus four and that is a uh, minus three over two when we simplify for that finally our answer is this m plus one dz by cauchy integral theorem our answer is f of z fn of z naught times 2 pi high over n factorial our fn of z naught is minus 3 over 2 times 2 pi high over our n factorial is just 1 so finally there 2 cancel 2 what we are going to have is um, minus 3 pi high is the value of this integral inside this um, disk let's consider another interesting one as that should be 4 let's evaluate we are evaluating this we are c is the unit disk what is unit disk this is unit disk so we are c is this unit disk if you consider this z square minus one we know that z square minus one can be written as z minus one and z plus one so the singular point at plus or minus one which lies which lies uh, lie inside this um, inside this disk so since both of them lie inside it, this that means we have to integrate on this um, on these two singular points plus one and um, minus one we need to start like this z square minus one is equal to one over z minus one one over z plus one and without stressing ourselves when we apply a uh, partial fraction which you have been taught when you apply partial fraction you should be able to get this minus one over z plus one when we apply partial fraction so i have expressed this in terms of this now let us now come here therefore the integral 
z squared plus 1 over z squared minus 1 dz equal to, it will now be equal to half into integral to this z squared plus 1, we we'll multiply this to, this is z squared plus 1 over z minus 1, z squared plus 1 over z plus 1 dz. So we need to apply the integ Cauchy integral formula for this to separately. So the Cauchy integral theorem now is simple because the value of n is not large. So what do we have? The we use this formula. Z not dz. That is simply two pi high f of z naught. So this is our f of z. Our z naught here is one. Our z naught here is minus one. Here z naught is one. Here z naught is minus one. So it will be very easy for us to do. Therefore, the given integral f of z over z minus z not dz will simply be equal to half into 2 pi high f of z not. Our z not that will be 1 squared plus 1 minus 2 pi high into minus 1 square plus 1 this will be this plus this will give me 2 that is 4 pi high this there's plus here this plus this 2 will give me 2 that will be minus 4 pi high so our it makes the value of the integral to be equal to 0 so that means this integration z square plus 1 over z square minus 1 over the disk is equal to 0. When is equal to 0 does not mean that um, doesn't mean that this function lies inside um, doesn't mean that this point that is the singular point 1 and minus 1 lie in uh, outside the integral but the value of the integral is zero the value of the integral may be zero you can practice this and practice this and have a good day